Uh, it's been amazing so far. It's been quite a whirlwind and very different to me from normal things with the sport and stuff, but I've enjoyed every moment so far. I'm never in like really good yeah, clothes. This is not your normal, just hair, makeup, sparky dress. Exactly, and I've got lipstick on and no sweat. There's no sweat. Well, it depends. If we're training, yeah. then yeah, there's sweat. No, no, no sweat at the moment. When we get in the training room, exactly. then you'll be sweating, that's for sure. Sweaty, babe. Why was it that you wanted to do Strictly as well? Uh, since being a little girl, Saturday nights were always watching Strictly with my sister and parents, and I always thought, wow, that looks amazing. And then, sort of, happens like, like my manager got like, asked, and I was like, really, me? And then here I am. How does it feel to get that call to say, do you want to do Strictly? I thought it was a joke at first, to be honest. <laughs> I was a bit like, really? But, but now it's reality. You're now here. I... You can see sparky glitter balls everywhere, and exactly. you're in this outfit. I know, and it's just, it's a bit surreal actually. Like, it's a different world. Like. It is completely different. It, yeah, that's for sure. It is very different, especially from your training, swimming in the cold ocean and... Exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine this in the ocean. Then. Cycling in the rain. No. no. It would, oh, you did run yesterday, though. I'm proud I did, of him. I, she said she was going to go training, so I thought I'll try and train this day. And <laughs> I went for a good three, four mile run. I can feel it today. No matter how far you go on Strictly, I mean, what are you hoping to get out of the experience? I think friends for life dance skills for life and just to probably for myself confidence show everybody that yeah there's I have I'm missing an arm but there's a way around it and we can dance and I can dance to a good enough standard so no, okay. you, it's good I'm excited I can't wait to choreograph and think outside the box and nothing's gonna be normal as it would be because obviously the situation is very different so for me it's a challenge and I can't wait to uh, show everybody what we do week one because it's yeah it's gonna be something special Step side close, step side close has gone very well. So the first three steps is um, positive. Well, obviously, you're flying off to um, Australia. Yep. So I, her homework is to do step side close in the airport, on the plane, and especially on the Gold Coast. On the, on beach. the beach. And then yes. maybe down the finish line as well. We'll see how it goes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> when you get back from the championships, how long have you got before the live show? Two days. <laughs> Two days to learn a full routine, prepare yourself mentally to stand in front of 12 million people live and be judged by four judges. No pressure, that's why we've got Piece an Olympic cake. athlete here, because she can deal with the pressure. I've got AJ, so team. Actually, having trained for one day, I'm sort of thinking that perhaps I'll like both ballroom and Latin now. I was thinking more Latin to begin no, I, with. I know you were talking about yeah. Latin and you're excited about that and the style, but I think the ballroom for you is going to be mm. its going to be very much so up there. That ballroom, tango, and a beautiful um, waltz, I can imagine, is going to be. Yeah. Are there any you're dreading, though, like that you think of them and go, oh, oh. I don't want to do that? <laughs> it was the waltz. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll see. I think there'll be quite a few that are challenging. Um, Again, with every challenge, that just excites me. I'm a bit weird like that, so... I like, I like her competitive mentality, and she's going to attack every step, every dance, as though she's going to win it, and that's what I can't wait to get back into that studio right now. I'm thinking right now, I'm choreographing my, in my head, because I'm excited. It's not actually with us. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here, really. I'm, I'm over there in the studio somewhere. We've established that lots of stretching and mobility and flexibility might be needed. Yeah. A lot of stretching for you to uh, release a lot of them muscles that maybe you, you, you've trained just before, you just don't know they exist this. as painful as they are yeah, I'm a bit, to be. And at the moment, just because obviously Wells is just around the corner, I'm very like stressed and tense and as athletically fit as I can be, so I need to loosen up a little. I'm excited to show the world what we can do and hopefully inspire perhaps younger generations to kind of get involved Definitely. in dancing yeah. and just believe in themselves a bit more. You are an inspirational person, so that is what's going to be fantastic, but seeing your journey and seeing how you inspire others, especially the young generation. I mean, with my job already and, and being an athlete, like I try to go into as many schools as I can and the younger generations, um, and also those that perhaps have lost their way and, and need to grasp onto something. Um, I think with sport and definitely having one arm, it does inspire people just to believe in themselves. Like, well, if she can do it with one arm, you know, I'm just as capable of doing it. So anything comes from it, but just inspires girls of any age, ability, and any disability to do it, then I'd be happy.